السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. With the second class for the IGCSE syllabus, the chemistry. Last class, we explained the topic, the matter, and the mixture. Today, inshallah, we're going to give some practice questions related to this topic. Uh, because those topics are the first two topics in the CIE syllabus, we're going to concentrate with the CIE questions. The two topics are common between the three boards, as we did say, but they are the first two topics in the CIE syllabus, and they are separated topic <coughs> in the AQA and even in the Anyhow, nowadays we are concentrating with the two boards, Cambridge One <coughs> and AQA, because they have November session. It is they don't have November session, they have January session. Uh, so we're going to solve some questions related to the AQA, and if we find enough time, sorry, it's for CIE, and if we have enough time, we're going to continue with the AQA question. Uh, we're going to make a quick revision for the topic which we took it last class, where we talk about the three states of matter, some of the kinetic theory and kinetic theory assumption, comparison between the three states of matter, and even the change in states of the matter from solid to liquid to gas and the opposite. And uh, <clears throat> we did talk about the change of energy or the energy change required for this one, which one of them is endothermic, which one of them is exothermic. And we'll talk in detail about the word diffusion. And also we did talk about factors affecting diffusion and also we did talk about the difference between the Brownian motion and random motion. Uh, and also, we did concentrate with this factor, which is known as a molecular mass, which affects diffusion. We'd say the rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the molecular mass. Also, we'll take two diagrams. One of them is a heating diagram, and the other one is a cooling diagram, which show relationship between the temperature and the time while you are heating a substance. After that, we started with something we call it predicting the states of matter, solid or liquid or gas. Would it say if the substance has high melting point, it will be a solid. If the substance has low boiling point, it will be a gas. If the substance has high boiling point, at the same time it has low melting point, this one will be a liquid. Those are the equipment which we are using in the science lab. You're supposed to know the name of each equipment, each apparatus, and you're supposed to know the use of each one of those. And then we table the results or the lesson. Method of separation are given here in detail. The measurement which we have in the lab, the volume, the time, the temperature, even the mass, which one is accurate, which one is approximate, is given here. After that, we did start uh, with the topic again and separating technique with a different way. So you have more than way to study your lesson, find which one is a suitable uh, topic to be studied for you and study your lesson. And anyhow, uh, this topic is already simplified and tabling uh, at the top. This one for the matter and the mixture, as we did say, now we're going to start with the question paper. Don't forget, in CIE we have three papers, paper two and four and six, while in AQA and Edixon we have only two papers. In CIE we have paper one, multiple choice questions. The multiple choice questions which are present in paper one almost similar to the multiple choice question which is present in both AQA and Edixon. It's not the same, like in the same idea. Now we don't have a separate paper for MCQ question for AQA or even Edixon, but we have a mixed paper, the paper containing multiple choice and essay question in the same paper, and you have to hold papers only, only as we would say in the AQA. Now we're going to start solving the question. 
we'll start with the multiple choice questions first, and then we're going to start after that with some essay questions. The first question which we have, which process causes the greatest increase in the distance between particles? Increasing distance between particles takes place in the heating it changes only. And when you heat a solid to be a liquid or heating a liquid to be a gas. In this case, the distance between particles will increase. Or even from a solid to gas direct. And as you can say, by increasing temperature, the motion will increase. So the distance between particles also will increase. So find which one of those is increasing temperature. Condensation, decreasing distance between the particles. Freezing, decreasing distance between particles. Melting, increasing distance between particles. And also sublimation, increasing distance between particles. So which one of them are going to choose? He said, greatest, greatest. But for sure, greatest changing from solid to gas in a process we call it sublimation. Let's continue, if you don't mind. A steering board, 25 cubic centimeter, dilute hydrochloric acid into a conical flask. The steering added 2.5 grams solid sodium carbonate and measured the change in temperature. Now asking you which apparatus can be used. Let's start. 25. Volume of a solution can be measured using bibit or a burette. And if it's approximate, you can use measuring cylinder. 2.5 gram, this is the balance you need. Temperature, you need a thermometer. So find which one of the choices has bibit or a burette, balance, and thermometer. You find this one is Letter C, as you told me. Uh, just to remind you, we have a process known as a titration. In this titration, we have a burette, and we have a conical flask, and we have a bibit. Three of them need to be used. This bibit will be used to put 25 in the conical flask, and the burette is going to be used to add drop by drop from the solution to the conical flask till the end point. This one, because this question will be repeated several times. Next question, the result obtained from the chromatogram, I mean chromatography process, the final result shown here. This one is a distance covered by the solvent. This one is a distance covered by the substance X. This one is a distance covered by the substance Y. Now he is asking about RF. RF equal distance covered by the component over distance covered by solvent. And if you would like to find our F for the X, it will be three over five. This one for X. And this one gives you 0.6. RF for Y, 2.5 over five. And this one gives you 0.5. So the answer in this case will be 0.6 and 0.5, liter B, as you told me. Those are the three states of matter. Now asking you about the process evaporation. Number one is clear. This one regularly arranged and close to each other. But this one is a solid. Close to each other, irregularly arranged. This one is liquid. This one appears to be a gas. Now we are talking about evaporation. Evaporation is changing from liquid to gas. So you are going to move from one to three. Answer is letter B. Which piece of is used to measure exactly 26? Ha, huh. it's clear now. Volume of a liquid. How can you measure the volume of liquid? Using measuring cylinder. If it is approximate, you said exactly. Cancel this one. Accurate debit or a burette. If it is multiple of number five, both of them can be used. This one is not multiple of number five, so the bit will be canceled. Only burette can be used. Gas syringe for measuring the gas, but this one is not answer anyhow. As you investigate the diffusion of the ammonia in H3 and hydrogen chloride, HCl gas, two tests are carried out as you show in the graph. 
now he's carrying out the experiment to like to see the rate of diffusion. Ammonia is in H3 and the mass is 17. Hydrogen chloride is HCl and the mass is 36.5. So which one diffuses faster? Ammonia. Which one takes short time? Ammonia. Which one covering longer distance? Ammonia. So if ammonia cover this distance in 30 seconds, be sure of that hydrogen chloride will cover it in more than 30 seconds. So the answer will be 64. This one is a chromatography process. Now asking you, which one of those dyes has our F value is 0.7. What's 0.7 distance? Covered by the component over distance covered by the solvent. Can you observe this distance over this? This one's 0.7? No, it's not. This one over the total, is it? Not. This one over the total, is it? Yes. This distance here over all of this will give you 0.7. So the answer is later. This question is repeated. For this one here, we have a diffusion process takes a place to a chemical compound. One of them is potassium manganate and the molecular mass 158. So the molecular mass for this one is 158. And the potassium dichromate and the molecular mass for this one is 294. So which one of them is heavier? Potassium dichromate. Which one of them is lighter? Potassium manganate. Which one diffuses faster? Manganate. Why? Because it's lighter. So if I ask you which sentence he is right, you will tell me letter B. Diffusion is slower in dish two, this one. Why? Because this one is heavier, greater in mass, greater in mass. Okay? So would you please, you need to read the question well. And need the choices and find which one is the most suitable choice here. Sometime you can read the first part of the question, but like this one, diffusion is faster in this one. Some people are going to say, yeah, this one is the right question. This one, this sentence is right. Like, will you please check the second sentence also? It's written there because the mass of the particle is greater. Do you think the greater mass diffuses faster? So you need to read the question well. However, you saw it before or you didn't say before. Pure water had a boiling point of 100, this one because it's pure, and a melting point of a zero, or freezing point, let's say. This one because it's what? Pure. How about if it's impure? You told me before, if it's impure, the melting point decreases, boiling point decreases. So the melting point, now we'll talk about the melting point or the freezing point, will be less than zero. So by the answer, according to the freezing point, either this or this. And the boiling point will increase, so it will be more than 100. So according to the boiling point, it will be this or this. Ah, which one is common? Let's see. The boiling point increases at the same time freezing point decreases. This one is a chromatogram. The diagram appears after the chromatography process. One of those has RF value of 0.6. The same idea. Distance covered by the component over distance covered by the solvent. Which one of those value over 10.5 will give you 0.6? It's clear for you. This one is liter. The 6.3. Divided 10.5 gives you, the okay, answer is letter D. Particle moving very slow from area of high concentration to low concentration. Number one, let's start. Motion from high concentration area to low concentration area, this one is known as diffusion. What is diffusion here? Liquid being frozen, this one is diffusion, not not. Solid melts, this one's diffusion, not not. Substance diffuses through liquid, yeah, this one is diffusion. Substance diffusing through air, this one is diffusion. 
So I have two probability here for the answer. No, you have only one. Why? Because I said it's moving very slow. Diffusion in air very fast is not very slow because we have large space between particles. So this one diffusion in, and it goes. Let's carry on. As theory makes us 25 cubic centimeter of sample of the hydrochloric acid. Finish in this issue, this one is the pivot. Where the different volumes of aqueous sodium hydroxide? This issue also is finished. You need a pure rate. In each case, the theory measure the change in temperature. This is just finished. You need a thermometer. In each case, sometimes this word will be written as a time, in each time. Just confusing you. Time here doesn't indicate you need to measure the time. Time like each time, I mean each case. Now he's asking you which means apparatus not, not this one needed, this one needed. This one needed, this one is not needed. Information about the solubility of four solids, BQ and R and S, are given here. Solubility, yes. Two substances of them are soluble, two substances are insoluble. As the urine added water and it dissolved it, and that thingy here. It's telling you as you attempt to separate the mixture of those solid by adding water, steering, filter the mixture, crystallization. This one, the action of solvent, as you know. An action of solvent can be used for soluble and insoluble. Soluble and insoluble. Asking you which of the following mixture could not, could not, so both of them will be either soluble or both of them either insoluble. Action of solvent can be used for a soluble and insoluble substance. Both of them are soluble, so okay, cannot be used. Both of them insoluble, no way for those to be separated. So taking Q and R cannot be used. Taking P and S also cannot be used. Q and R present there in letter C, because both of them are insoluble. Those classes of question is question related to the multiple choice question. Read this question also. Two chemical compound, one of them is methane, the other one is ethane. It appears here this one is lighter, lighter. And because this one is lighter, it diffuses faster. Because this one is lighter, this one diffuses faster. Asking you which gas diffuses faster, you told them it's methane. Why? Because it's lighter. Huh. Which one is the answer? Oh, it's written here, methane here and methane here. Which one is written lighter? This one. Don't talk about the size of the particle. This one does not affect with me, actually. This one for what? For? The multiple choice questions which we have and how to solve it. We have another kind of question. This one is paper four question, the same question. We will try to solve some of them to show you how to solve it. And we will send you this note to try at home and make more brackets for this question. Substance can be classified as an element in a combined mixture. Mixture can be separated by physical process. A sequence physical process can be used to separate table salt from a mixture containing sand and salt. Sand and salt are two solids, so we are in a solid, solid mixture. And because one of them is soluble and the other one is insoluble, we're going to use the solvent action. So the first step for us is adding excess amount of water and steering. Second step, using filtrating set, which is filter funnel and filter paper, to separate the salty water as a filtrate. There is no need to show that, that 
sand will be counted as a residue and all of that detail. You have only three lines, you have, you have to give all of that question. The next step, you read that. That's right, as you told me, you read the solute. If you read the solute, you're going to make either evaporation or crystallization. Both of them accept. This one in the separating process, don't forget, if you have a solution and you need the solute, in this case, you will make evaporation or a crystallization. If you need the solvent, you will make simple distillation. If you have a mixture of insoluble substances like silver chloride and water, you're going to make filtration. If you have hydrocarbons or amino acid substance, different solubility, you're going to use chromatography. If you have a mixture of liquids like hydrocarbons, you're going to use fractional distillation because they have different boiling boilers. The models are the methods which we have here in separation and which one of them can be used. It's written here, the boiling point for four substances, A and B, C and D, shown. You can observe they have different boiling points already. Once they have different boiling points, the most suitable method which can be used to separate them is a fractional distillation. As you can observe, this diagram is not completed. It's clear here. We are going to complete this fractional column by a thermometer. And the bulb of the thermometer is supposed to be in front of the condenser. And the condenser itself required water in and water out. This one is in and this one is out. You can observe those are alcohols. So you have to be careful in the method of heating. Can you heat the substance? Yes, I can heat the substance. How? Just remind me, because I'm almost forgot. If you would like to heat the substance, use Benson burner. When exactly you can use the Benson burner? You can use the Benson burner if you have Yes, unflammable substance, and you require the high temperature. However, it's a flammable substance. Flammable? Yes. And you need high temperature or low temperature? No, I need quiet low temperature. Not that high. Use water bath. How about if I need a high temperature? Water bath in this case would not be used because the maximum temperature reached by the water bath will be 100. If I need a temperature of 120, 160, Water bath, this one will not be used. It will be useful for us because the temperature will never reach more than 100. So we have to use hot blade, electric heater, direct. We need to use it. Let's see the question. Draw the arrow in a diagram to show the water. We just make it now. Water in from here and water out from there. Name the apparatus X. This one is the condenser. This one condensing the vapor, converting it into a liquid. Part of the fraction that column is missing. This means the experiment will not work. Draw on a diagram part of the fractional column, fractionating column, which is missing. We just draw it now. We close this area and we did draw the thermometer. This was missing here. Now asking you explain why the experiment will not work with this part of the fractionating column missing. Because all of the vapor released will escape out of the diagram and will not move toward the condenser. Any vapor will not go to the condenser. It will get out through the column by this. So just why Benson burner is not Use the here because alcohols are flammable. Hot water bath cannot be used to separate alcohol C and D because they have higher boiling points than the water. And the maximum temperature which will be reached in this point will be only 100. 
Another question in this table. This one is a cooling diagram showing you the three states of matter as you know. Those liters here are going to use it to fill in this plant. The particle in the substance have the most kinetic energy. We have three states, solar, liquid, and gas. Gas has the maximum or the most kinetic energy. So the answer for this one will be T. The particle in the substance has the farthest part. Even from the arrangement of particles, particles in gas has farthest from each other, so they have far apart. They are far apart. The substance exists as both a gas and liquid. Present or presence of the two substance or two states at the same time that you have a change of state. Change of state. Gas and liquid, that mean you have a condensation process, and this one takes place at this point. What's condensation? Changing from gas to liquid. What's condensation point? Temperature at which we have equilibrium between gas and the liquid. Use a graph to estimate the freezing point, freezing point from the y-axis. This one is a freezing, just move to y-axis to find the exact temperature which we have, which will be almost 130. Name the change of a state from the solid to gas direct. This one is counted as sublimation. When a small fluid through the microscope, the small particles in the air appears to jump around. What term in describing this motion? You told me this one is. Rowanian motion, Rowanian motion. Smoke particle, don't say this one is random motion. No, this one is Rowanian motion. Why this motion taking place like this? It's because of the collision it takes place between the air particles and the smoke particles in all directions. If there is one for paper four questions and some of Weber two questions. The rest of the question you can solve it as a homework. I'm going to send you the notes already. And if you need any help at any time, you can ask. We will be available for you at any time. Don't hesitate. All of the recorded classes will be at uh, my website or even my Facebook account or even uh, my YouTube channel. You can find it there. All of the notes will be available at any time if you want it. The most important point for us is just making you understand and making you ready for the exam. And making you ready for ranking. Don't forget. Everybody can get a star, like not everybody can rank. Think about this issue because this one is important. This one is my phone number, 00966, because I'm Saudi Arabia, 531-884877. I'm using this one WhatsApp also. So if you need any help at any time, you will find us available for this. Thanks so much for your time and joining us in this class. We have another free class tomorrow, Saturday. It will be online class, so anybody would like to join the class, he is welcome. The IG Hub group will send the link at all groups if you would like to join. And if you have any doubts, you can ask at that time or even through the WhatsApp, as we'd say. Again, 
Thanks so much for joining the class. See you next class, inshallah.